Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets and thank you so much for tuning in. Here on my YouTube channel, I post a variety of different budgeting related videos. So if that is content that sounds like something that you may be interested in, I would love it if you would subscribe. So today I am filming my week one spending check-in for the month of June. So week one for me of June actually goes from June the 2nd up until June the 8th. Each week, I like to do one of these weekly spending check-ins to check in for my four variable expense categories, that being groceries, dining out, gas, and miscellaneous. I am not a cash budgeter. I use my debit card slash credit card for everything, but I treat that credit card spending like a debit card, meaning I pay it off right away. So I like to film these videos just to keep myself on top of my spending and try not to go too over budget in any of these categories. So let's flip over to the next page and I can go over my spending for week number one. So the first transaction that I had was on the second. Um, this was in the dining out category. I did meet one of my friends and we went out for pad thai and that cost me $23 and 53 cents. Um, the next transaction that I had was on the third. This was also in the dining out category and I did also meet up with another one of my friends and we went to like this like random like sandwich shop. I had a discount coupon thing so it was like five dollars off so it actually only cost me eight dollars and 13 cents which was really really good um but i followed up <laughs> that um sandwich by going to mcdonald's again also on the third so in the dining out category i spent a dollar oh five and that was just on a large diet coke because it is dollar drink days if you guys remember back to like 2021 <laughs> when i only gave myself ten dollars a week for dining out one of the things that i always used to do was go to mcdonald's and get iced coffee honestly i don't like the iced coffee from mcdonald's anymore which is really sad <laughs> um i used to love it i actually liked it better than i liked starbucks ice coffee but now the iced coffee from Tim Hortons or sorry from McDonald's has gone really really downhill so that's a shame but I did get a Diet Coke and I mean McDonald's Diet Coke is the best Diet Coke there is so the fact that I can get it for a dollar is amazing. Um, the next transaction that I had was also on the third. This was in the gas category and I did spend $27 on gas. Then on the third as well, um, in the miscellaneous category off of Amazon, I spent $28 and 22 cents. And I honestly, like I'm drawing a complete blank on what I bought for that $28 and 22 cents. Honestly, I'm just pulling this up to the side here cause I've got my iPad open. And I want to see what my order was because I genuinely don't remember what it was. Oh, okay. No, I remember what it was. Um, I got myself packing cubes. <laughs> um, I'm not... I haven't planned a vacation or anything. I just, um, my sister had bought packing cubes and she had gone on vacation and really liked them. And then the ones that she had bought, I think she spent... I want to say they were $20.99, but those same ones were $20.99, but then there was a $4 off coupon that day, so I ended up buying those. And then I also got myself nail glue um, for like nails. It was not very good nail glue. <laughs> I just, I tried it and um, it was terrible, so I won't be buying that again. But yeah, that was the $28.22, so yeah. Um, the next transaction that I had was on the 4th. This was in the groceries category and I did go to Freshco and I spent $7.56. Then also on the 4th, um, in the dining out category, I did go to McDonald's and I spent $3.14. This was on an ice cream cone and again, a Diet Coke. <laughs> then on the 5th, I did that same thing, went back to McDonald's and I got myself an ice cream cone and a Diet Coke. Then on the 6th, I did the same thing. And I went to McDonald's and got myself an ice cream cone and a Diet Coke. And I know that that sounds like excessive, but like an ice cream cone from McDonald's actually only has like 240 calories and like a Diet Coke doesn't have any. So it's not like the worst thing in the world. It's just like, it's just a treat. So yeah. Um, also on the 6th, I guess I went back to McDonald's um, and I got myself another just a Diet Coke, which was $1.13. Then on the 6th as well, in the groceries category, I did go to Loblaws and I spent $26.99 there. And then on the 7th, I did in the gas category, because I do classify like parking as like gas, even though it's not really gas, but anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, I did pay for parking and that was $20 and that was on the 7th. And then on the 8th, I went back to McDonald's um, in the dining out category and I got myself another Diet Coke. And now that I'm looking at this, I'm a little bit confused because if you see here, like this was a dollar oh five 
this was $1.05 and this was $1.13, which doesn't really make sense because like where I live, I live in Ontario, Canada, tax is 13%. So that's like what HST is. So I don't know why these were $1.05 and this was $1.13 because I would have expected it to all to be $1.13. And then even these transactions here that were all $3.14, like an ice cream cone is $1.99. And then the drink is a dollar, so that's two ninety nine, plus tax would be more than that. But anyways, doesn't really matter. That's what it was. So yeah, that was it for week number one. So again, quite a few transactions. I'm about halfway done the page, but I don't think I actually did like too badly when it comes to the individual categories. So I'll flip back over and I'll go over my totals. So for groceries for the entire week, I actually only spent. $34.55, which is really, really not bad. Again, I give myself $60 a week. So that's a total of $240 for the month. And since I only spent $34.55, I am still left with $205.45 left in groceries, which is great. Um, next is dining out and dining out I spent $44.31 so I didn't think I had done as badly in dining out and like I didn't but I don't love seeing that this dining out is greater than groceries but hopefully I'll be able to like kind of cut back as I go but anyways dining out I give myself $40 a week so that's a total of $160 for the month I spent $44.31 leaving me with $100 and $15.69 left over at the end of this week, which is great. Again, I'm a little bit over in this category, but hopefully I'll be able to adjust. Um, gas, I ended up actually spending $47, which is a little bit more than I would like to spend in a week. But again, I did pay for parking, which was expensive. So for gas, I give myself $30 a week, so that's $120 for the month. I spent $47, leaving me with $73 for the rest of the month. So again, hopefully I don't have to pay for parking too many more times, um, but that should be good. And then finally in miscellaneous, I only spent a total of $28.22. Again, that was from um, that Amazon purchase. So miscellaneous, I give myself $50 a week, again, times four, so a total of $200 for a month, minus $28.22, leaving me with $171.78. So if you add all of my spending up for the week, it means I spent $154.08, which leaves me with $500. $65.92 left over for the rest of the month. And that is very, very good because again, groceries is 60, dining out is 40, um, gas is 30, and miscellaneous is 50. So I'm a solid like $25 under my weekly budget after week one, which is nice. Again, gas is a little bit up, but I don't necessarily think I'll need to buy gas in week two. So I'm sure it'll all work out. It's just the one category I'm really struggling with. And I did really struggle with it last month as well as dining out. So hopefully I'll be able to sort of like adjust and like spend a little bit less in dining out for the rest of the month. But yeah, overall, I'm still super happy with this. So anyways, that is it for today. Thank you again, you guys so much for tuning in. Again, my name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets. My next video should be up on Wednesday. And just based on my schedule, that's actually going to be my June paycheck number two budget setup because again I do get paid um, again on June the 16th and that's going to be my paycheck number two so yeah anyways have an amazing couple days everybody and I should talk to you again on Wednesday goodbye